Today I'm working on my John Deere 110 disc. Starting to think about tillage this spring. I've got a couple of broken blades I need to replace. Um, I have to take both back gangs off. The, uh, of course, the broken blades on each back gang is the outermost ones, which means I have to take the gangs entirely apart to get to it. And this disc has eveners, ridge fillers. We call these ridge fillers up here in my area. They clamp on to the outside, clamp on over this. And uh, this, this disc has 20 inch blades. The ridge fillers have 16 inch blades. The idea is to kind of even out the, the ridge knock down the ridge that the that the lead, that the disc leaves in the field so i've got two outside blades to replace on this plus uh the blade on the other ridge filler is broken it came off a couple of years ago it's sitting up in my barn somewhere i need to find it but the blade on it is broken too so i need to pick up two 20 inch blades and a 16 inch blade for this thing so I guess I better start taking it apart. Okay, I've got the axle nut loose on this gang. And I've got it off of that gang. I just uh, put a pipe wrench on there, on there to hold it and jam that against the ground. Used my big crescent wrench and a big cheater bar to get it started. Plus I heated the nuts up a little bit before I started because they've been on here a long time they haven't been off during the 20 years that I've owned this thing but uh, I've got the, this nut out far enough now that I could get at it with my three-quarter inch sockets then I can unbolt these gangs lift the disc and uh, take the disc away just leaving the gangs here okay I've got my gangs off I went into the barn and found my other ridge filler I don't know why I thought it had a broken blade on it. Obviously it doesn't, which is good. So it looks like I need to pick up a couple of 20 inch blades when I get to town over the weekend. And uh, I think I'm just gonna leave them here like this. I don't think I'm, I wanna take them apart until I have the new blades and can take them apart and put them right back together again so things won't get jostled around. So I'll finish this project up next week. This bearing is being a little stubborn about sliding off the shaft. So, because this disc is bad anyway, I went ahead and whacked it off with the torch so I can get a better swing at it with a hammer. Well, the good news is I have this gang all apart. The bad news is I have a broken bearing there. This looks like an old break. I don't think I did it today. But, uh, anyway, this gang can't go back together today. But I'll see if I can get the other one fixed up. I'll be driving right past the John Deere dealer in a couple of days anyway, so I'm not gonna make a special trip to town. Just, I don't, don't need this thing right now. Fortunately, we're still a couple of weeks off from field work, so. That's why you work on these things a little early. I'll see if my John Deere dealer has this in stock and I'll pick one up in a couple of weeks. Today I'm on the road again with the 1486. For the last couple of years I've been storing my 1486 and my Vermeer round baler. 
in a friend's shed, uh, one of my friends who's had to quit farming due to poor health, which unfortunately describes several of my friends. If I'm not careful, I'm going to end up being the last man standing around here. But uh, I'm in the 1486 heading home right now. I got it out this morning. The uh, round baler is still in the shed. I'm going to leave it in his shed for another month or two months. Instead, I'm bringing home my latest tillage purchase. So yeah, last fall I bought his plow from him when I took the 1486 over there for the winter. It's a International 710 416s. Oh, for a long time now I've been using the Melro 318 semi-mounted plow. And the Melro plow was built like a tank, but uh, I've never been crazy about the 18-inch bottoms. It just seems to me like the 18s don't do as neat a job rolling over sod as the uh, as 14s or 16s. Of course, it might be entirely in my head, but nonetheless, I last couple of years I've been wanting a 416s, and when I got the opportunity to buy these from him, I did. I want to bring these home now. Give myself a couple of weeks to see if it needs anything before I have to use it. So. We'll give it a looking over when I get home. I have to say the red plow behind the red tractor is aesthetically pleasing. And I've had a little bit of a chance to look at this thing and boy, it's a really nice shape. The uh, shares, shins and land sides all have lots of wear left in them. The coulters all turn. I think all I really need to do is make sure everything takes grease and uh, I should be able to use it. Still don't have my John Deere disc back together. I've got this gang back together. Turned out there was a uh, there was another blade that was cracked, not broken, that was cracked I hadn't noticed. So I need to pick up another new blade and get that new bearing. But uh, I need to finish tightening this gang up get my bearing and new blade, put that one back together, and then I can get that disc back together. So we're, we're slowly getting ready for tillage season around here. Still uh, two or three weeks off, but it'll get here. 